Good morning everyone. This is HP Dragonfly 13.5 inch G4 model. This one came out 2024. Comes with Core i7, 13 gen processor, one of the decent machine from HP, quite slim, decent to look and the finishing, everything is brilliant. So today I'm going to show you how to downgrade or upgrade the windows by reinstalling it. So what you need to do first, we need to get into the BIOS, change a couple of settings, make sure you do have the windows boot installer and then everything should be fine. So let's start. As you can see here, this is Windows 10 in UEFI. This is standard USB. Mm, I made it bootable in GPT. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. So first of all, I'm going to connect in a converter and then I'll connect in here, either on the right or left, doesn't matter. And then we need to switch it off. Okay. I'm going to switch it off by pressing it down. At the same time, I'm going to connect my charger because we don't want to see any sort of interruption. So once everything connected, what are you going to do? We're going to press the power button and we're going to keep pressing F10. Yeah. All right. So we do have BIOS set up here, BIOS password, as you can see. Um, yeah, once we hit enter, it shows the BIOS page as you can see. There are a few sections here, one of the main security advanced EFI drivers. Okay, so from here, if you go to the system, it would show you what it is, model number, and everything. And if you press ESC button, it's going to go back. And then, if you go to system diagnosis, you can do that in that way. But for our USB boot, there is almost nothing to do. So we're going to go to security and we'll try to find secure boot and TPM. Okay. So here is the TPM settings that you can see. You can use the trackpad and um, the keyboard as well, both of them. So we're going to go to secure boot configuration. Okay. So when you go to the secure boot configuration, by default, this is already enabled. It has to be that way. So if you don't see any sort of check in there just click here and make it checked okay so go back by pressing the left arrow and then we'll try to see if there is anything else here go down and nothing in here but if you want to do windows 11 then tpm 2.0 is available either you can leave it enabled or disable it's up to you but if you prefer windows 11 you have to leave it enabled okay so this is the settings now we're going to go to advanced option which is right here from the advanced section there are a few options we're going to check first of all we need to get back to boot option which is the third hit enter or you can click on the trackpad from here as you can see the usb boot usb boot has to be checked okay remember it and then if you go down by clicking here this is the boot option now might be in your case as you can see here if you select and then if you click twice it's going to make it disable means it's not going to work and if you click again like that it's going to be enabled now the boot priority order that you can see the top one is the first boot priority and then second one is the second boot third one is the third one you know so this is the one we're going to keep our usb as the first boot how to do that let me show you hit enter once you hit enter, you see it shows two error. One of them up, another one is down, which is black mark. Now, if you press the down arrow, it's going to go down. As you can see here, example like that. And then if you check here, it's going to set up like as a third boot. But we want our USB stick, which is that one. Windows 10 EUFI as a first boot. So what are you going to do? We're going to select the USB again. We're going to hit enter. And now we're going to go up. Once this is top of the list, we're going to check it. That's all. It's saved. And now we're going to go back to main, save the changes, and exit it. Say yes. 
Now these things would load up by itself. So from here, your trackpad might get stopped or disabled, which is normal. You don't need to worry. In this case, either you can use the keyboard command, which is tab and backspace. But I do prefer to use any sort of external mouse. Makes everything easy and simple to do that. As you can see, when I press space key, it works like enter and tab key for skipping one to another. But let's connect my external mouse and accept the terms and condition. Then we're going to do the fresh installation. There are a couple of options. Make sure you do select the right one and there would be many partitions from the same drive and we're going to delete all of them. But the risk is here. If you delete, you're going to lose everything, right? So if you have any important data, then make sure you back it up before you get to this point. Okay, so the external mouse is working fine. Accept the terms and condition. Hit next and choose the bottom one. Now we're going to delete every single partition, all of them, and it will create a single partition. Then we'll hit next and the main process will begin. And this is the key fact for this installation. By the way, that machine came with Windows 11, but with Windows 10 Pro, it did work very well. Everything was fine. The driver's been up to date. Pretty good. And still, I do like Windows 10 Pro rather than 11. Okay, so it's copying everything. We're going to wait. Fast forward this video to make it shorter. Okay, and once the installation has done, might be we're going to face some sort of driver issues, especially the wireless connection. Okay, and this is a kind of pain, but it's so simple to sort this out. What are you going to do? We're going to connect any sort of external uh, Wi-Fi USB stick to get the temporary connection or we can put the same model number and serial number to HP website to download the right drivers, put it in a USB, bring it into this machine and install it. This is also another way. So by the way, now it shows all the options and it's nearly finalizing. Almost there. Here we go. So from here, I can see there is no Wi-Fi driver, no sound, nothing. This is also a very crucial part to know how to update the drivers because sometimes we get stuck. I found even many people that don't even know the basics how to do that. So as you can see, it doesn't show any Wi-Fi signal or anything due to the driver's issues. Okay. So now what are you going to do? We're going to double check which drivers are missing. And here is the one way. As you can see, this is a kind of USB external Wi-Fi module. I'm going to connect into this USB port and I can have a temporary Wi-Fi connection here. So now we can update the drivers. By the way, I'm going to finish this video here. If you'd like to know how to update any drivers for brand new laptop or after reinstallation, please let me know in the comment section. And if you do like, please. Thumbs up and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching and your support. Bye for now.